HHS, are you ready? Later on that pep rally Friday, the Hillers football team welcomed in the Medfield Warriors. It was raining throughout the whole night and then with a scoreless game and 137 left to go in the second quarter, thunderstorms moved in and eventually the game would be suspended until Saturday at 4.30. Picking it up on the Saturday afternoon, third quarter scoreless game about 9.40 left on the clock. Quarterback Ryan Emer finds Liam O'Toole, who takes it all the way to the house for six, a 52-yard touchdown for O'Toole. Fourth quarter, 7-0 Medfield. Emer finds Captain James Voss inside the five. Refs call him down at the one. Mitchell Gonzer would punch it in to make it 14-0 Medfield after the extra point. Just over two minutes left in the game, Emer finds Jake Dubs for a big gain. The penalty was against Hopkinton. Medfield would capitalize on that. A handoff to Austin Sumrall gets them within the five. Starting lineman John Quinn in at running back. He'll take care of business, rushing up the middle for another six. The extra point makes it 21-0 Medfield. At this point, the Hillers trying to avoid the shutout. Jimmy Adams threw a beauty to Shane Cooney. The Hillers added a two-point conversion to make it 21-8, and then it's onside kick time. The Hillers get the ball back off the onside kick, but wait a second. The refs talk it out and decide a false start against the Hillers. So they have to do it again, this time five yards back from the 35 yard line. They squib it, it's downed, and that's the ball game. Medfield takes down the Hillers in a game that expanded across nearly 23 hours. 21 to eight is the final score. The Hillers are two and five on the season, and they will continue on in exhibition play, while five and two Medfield will play playoff football. A solid effort by both TVL rivals.